Hey y'all, we need to talk a little bit about some important things when it comes to arrowhead hunting and archaeologists. I've done this before, I'm gonna do it again. I'm D.W. Burtz. I like to hunt the pointy rocks. We're gonna talk about that, I'll be right back. Okay, so I had a comment from a viewer or something the other day on a video, and um, it, it's sad. I've already done a video before what I think of most archaeologists. They're so much smarter than we are. Um, but I need to bring this matter up because apparently some folks think it's wrong to pick up arrowheads and artifacts and pointy rocks. You know what, y'all? If it ain't illegal... It ain't wrong. My experience with archaeologists has not been good. I do talk about this in my other video. I've talked to several of them over the years. One really good one, okay, because he gets along with me, agrees with me, that makes him good, right? But he was a really nice guy. And one younger guy was pretty receptive, except for when it came to digging up stuff. He didn't like that. The comment that this viewer made was that when we... Any time, they said, she, I think it's a she. If it's not, and they watch this, I apologize. I think it's a she. Is it any time that we pick up one of these, touch one, take it home, we're changing history. An archaeologist told this person that. You got to be kidding me. The only history that I'm changing when I pick up an artifact like that is mine. I'm changing my history. I found something cool. Man, y'all, that's just archaeologists. Changing history. You know what? I, bottom line at this. If, if I find if I find this, especially in a creek, let's say it's in a creek bed after a flood. This one wasn't. This one's actually have a field. I know that for a fact. I've never found a good ad like this in a creek. Not one like that. Anyway, find this in a creek. If I leave that thing lay, 90% chance it's never going to be seen again. And what's that got to do with anything? Well, how did I change history if it's going to get buried again anyway? That's my opinion. There's no way to score history in a creek. Unless you would find a load of something special that had just come in from upstream and maybe it, it don't matter. Changing history because I picked this thing up. Well, load a mercy. Have I changed a lot of history over the years? Surely I have. I went to a professional dig once. A big site was being worked up a couple hours south of here. And... Uh, I mean, they, this was professional. They had this thing, they excavated acres. And mostly people like me, I did not dig. I just walked around, talked to people. But the head of the whole deal, which ended up not being an archaeologist, truthfully, in the end, he was a coordinator. He was a paper pusher, a wannabe, whatever. Uh, he was rude. He would have been hard to work for. He was slave driving. Now, this is all volunteer help. College kids. I think anybody could go help but wanted to. He was rude, typical. I had an archaeologist once at an Arrowhead show. I don't know. They brought him as a guest speaker. I never watched what he talked about. It was obviously important. But he had a huge disdain for all them points to be on display. He was walking around saying, tsk, 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 all the stuff that was wrong. Absolutely, for stuck his nose in the air when a few people that's ever done actually lifted his nose up in the air when I asked him a question below him made them God over the rocks. It's amazing. Now, yeah, I got a bad taste in my mouth. This happened too many times years ago. A bunch of stuff around here was dug the, 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 the visible rock overhangs, mostly the shelters, they were professionally dug by the university. I get this firsthand from a man that was there, a, a, the best amateur archaeologist I ever knew in my life. Super cool dude. Very knowledgeable. Probably more knowledgeable than most archaeologists on this area. 
and he said as a joke, he said, call and find out when you can look at that stuff. He said, he took 500 some pieces out of this one shelter up here. He kind of laughed. I called the university and I asked them. It took three times, three phone calls for I finally got somebody that would talk to me. It was a grad student and she sat there on the phone with me for 45 minutes and could not find a trace of that dig. Nothing. She found the name of the project overall, whatever it was, but she could not find any of the individual digs. Where's those points at? That was what the man was telling me. He said, they ain't there no more. They're hidden, took home, sold, put in desk drawers, locked away. As long as me and you don't find them, it's cool. Because me and you will screw up history. And then there was the archaeologist who absolutely put his back to me and walked away when I told him I like to dig. <laughs> his stuff shrunk whatever I had another archaeologist one that was really cool years ago down here at a, a Cherokee Nation show of all things I was napping points the only guy on the grounds that could nap the Cherokees there didn't know how it's kind of weird because I have no Indian to me at all he said it was cool that I dug he said just if something really weird ever comes up give me a call and he gave him the card he taught me more in a couple hours talking to him I've ever learned without finding it myself, and he was awesome. I can see where digging could be misconstrued or construed as being an issue when it comes to screwing up a timeline. Except like that archeologist told me, our timeline in this area is established. Boom, 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 boom. And here, it's eight inches, nine inches deep till we hit hard pan. Some places it's three to eight foot deep here in Missouri. Maybe deeper, I don't know, especially if rivers change things, but our strata, undisturbed, like where I'm at right here at my place, I have artifact pieces on top of the ground right here. That's how shallow our, I mean, right here, I can go show you debitage. How am I screwing up a timeline? How many bulldozers over the years have screwed up timelines? I tell you all the stories from time about the time that me and a buddy found over a thousand points over a thousand. I'll tell that story someday. It's a heartbreaker in the end. But the heavy equipment, the D6, D7 cats, the backhoes, the skid steers, were destroying that by the minute. We had a break in it that didn't matter anyway. It's a good story. And nobody cared. Nobody called. I mean, this was a absolute artifact. It, thousands of years and we were finding all the way back in our take. I have no doubt. I think if we got to hunt that out, we'd have found our Clovis stuff. We found some old stuff. What about that's way worse than me or you picking up something in a creek or have a plowed field or even digging responsibly. Not digging burial mounds, but digging responsibly. They, they push stuff over every day. They cover up history every day. No case for me you ain't selling it to me this is for that one viewer i guess but guys don't break the law don't dig or hunt where you're not supposed to behave yourself no trespass no stealing be respectable and god bless you guys that's my rant we'll talk at you later bye